In this video, you're going to learn three different ways you can solve your poker problems. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Now, today we're going to be talking about different mechanisms of solving problems and how all of them can be useful. So you're going to learn three uh, kind of tools to put in your toolkit to deal with different situations as they come up. And I'll show you which of the three is best for certain situations. Now you can incorporate all three of them so you're the most adaptable to deal with any problems that come up. So um, three ways to fix your poker problems. Now we're going to talk about three different levels to a degree. And when we have a problem, we can sort it on on a top level, mid level, or bottom level, kind of deep. We can go surface to deep, okay? So let's say you're tilting right now. You've got some poker problems at the poker tables. We can go, okay, what's happening right now? We can be aware of the triggers, the responses, how your emotions are flaring up, or we can go really deep. We can go deep into your psychology. We can look at where it came from, what's caused it, and we can do other things around your identity and switching it to her. This is what we're going to go through today, go for the three mechanisms of change and how they're all powerful and they all work together to create the best cocktail. So the first level is what we're going to call surface level, okay? So we have surface level. Surface level changes. So this is involves letting go and reframing. And this works with your thoughts and your emotions. This is like being very conscious day to day and going, wait a second, this way I'm thinking, this way I'm feeling isn't serving me. This is coming up with logic statements when you're tilting. This is, yeah, correcting thinking errors as they come up and be very mindful of when they come up. So the best ways of doing this are to keep like a journal, to write down situations that cause you problems and how you thought about it. Now you could reframe that and think about a difference. It's about letting go when emotions come up, actually letting those emotions go and come through you rather than trying to cling onto them. And you're dealing with the problems as they're coming up. So it's called the surface level because basically you're dealing with them as they're coming up. And just because it's surface level doesn't mean it's shallow. You can make amazing changes in your life if you are as conscious to your thoughts and emotions and you change them. Okay, so the level that's at, we're gonna say thoughts and emotions. Thoughts plus emotions. Okay, so that's level one. That's one way you can make changes, right? The next level, we go a bit deeper, okay? So we're going down, we're going deep, deep, deeper, okay? And the second level is the root cause. And make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to be showing you how to incorporate all of them and use some analogies that will uh, really stick into your head. So root cause. This is removing the root cause of the problem. So if you're working on the surface level, problems are always gonna keep coming up because you're not getting to the root. You're dealing with the symptoms. Uh, so the root cause would be about removing the beliefs, understand the beliefs and reprogramming beliefs. So you gotta go a bit deeper on this one. You have gotta understand why your negative thoughts are coming up. You gotta understand where the problem's actually coming from and go a bit deeper, a bit further back. So for this one, in simple terms, is understand your beliefs. So if you imagine your thoughts and emotions as like on the surface, your beliefs are below that. And when, when your thoughts and uh, emotions bundle together, they create one big massive belief. So if you can remove the root cause, remove the belief, you can actually change a lot of stuff. So let's say you're having tilt problems or you have an emotional problems at the tables, you, it's hard to focus, it's hard to uh, deal with losing. That's generally gonna be coming from a deeper belief, a deeper root cause. Maybe you have an, some entitlement. Maybe you uh, are attached to your results. Maybe you put too much importance or significance on it. So it comes from one of these big belief systems and you, you know it's a belief problem and you know it's like a root cause issue when this same situation is happening in different areas of your life. So it's happening in your poker career. It's happening in your relationships. It's happening with your health. The same sort of patterns are showing up again and again. That shows that you often need to go to the, the root cause and start changing the beliefs. And this is about reprogramming. So going, okay, a lot of our beliefs come from early in our childhood or when we're younger and we don't we don't question them we don't examine them so i've got a program called elite poker mindset where i show people how to reprogram their whole belief systems by working with thoughts and emotions and creating beliefs that actually serve you right now so a lot of beliefs we picked up when we we're younger which would have been good when we we're kids right stay out of trouble don't go there make sure you eat this don't do this play it safe good when you're a child and you're trying to keep out of trouble but as you're older and you keep those same narrow beliefs they don't serve you. So you've got to reprogram the beliefs and actually come up with new ones that serve you. Beliefs that I can learn anything. Beliefs that I am, uh, yeah, that are in line with your current goals. So uh, that's the second one. And the final one, which is another way, so this works, this works for different reasons. And the final one is called attention switching. Attention switching, okay? So uh, I'm gonna show, tell you an example in a second just to, so you can see exactly how this works. 
But this is all about creating and choosing and getting new circuitry. So the root cause one, this was on the beliefs level. And attention switching is where you basically go, uh, rather than trying to fix the problem, you almost like put your attention onto something new, like a new thing that you want. So it's replacing the old with the new. And this is where you decide on how you want to act and you start acting that way, okay? So this is on one of the deepest levels and it happens on the identity level. So let's say, let's use an example of a tree, okay? So I want, I want to show an example. Let's say I'm looking at my window right now. Let's say I've got a tree and I don't like it. Okay, I don't like it, I especially don't like it when it grows a little bit too big. So uh, what I can do is I can, when it, when it grows too big, I can go and cut off all the leaves and cut off all the things I don't like so I don't see it as much. And this would be dealing at the surface level. They're gonna grow back, but I can cut them off. If I cut them off often enough, it's gonna be problem solved, so cut them off. Then I go, you know what? If they're still growing back too often, I'm sick of dealing with these surface level problems of thoughts and emotions, I'm gonna go to the root cause. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna dig the tree up. I'm gonna dig, I'm gonna literally dig the tree up I'm gonna root it out, and I'm gonna dig deep, get make sure the roots are gone, and get rid of it. That's gonna solve the problem longer term. Now it's all these problems at the surface level are gone because I've dealt with the root problem. The root problem is gone, the surface level problems go with it. There's no, nothing to cut down. Instead of cutting it down though, instead of digging it up, which is a bit of effort and you've gotta go deep, it's not always the easy thing to do, I could go, you know what? I'm gonna plant a bigger tree, a one that I like to look at, right in front of it. And I'm going to water that, I'm gonna nurture it, I'm gonna make sure it's got good soil, and I'm gonna, all my attention will be on that new tree. Now what's gonna happen is, one, I can't see the tree behind it. The tree in front of it's gonna start stealing the tree behind its um, energy, and it's gonna start, um, the one behind it'll start to die if the one in front of it's bigger and getting all the sunlight. And now, although I haven't even looked at the, the root cause, I looked at where the, where the problems were, all my attentions are on this now amazing, awesome tree that I've created. What happens now? Now I don't care about what's behind it. I don't care there's an ugly tree behind it. I've got the tree in front. So uh, this is attention switching. So this is, if you look at the brain, when we form, it's almost like you want to form a new habit. Um, so, sorry, get rid of old habits. It's always good to replace it with a new one. So let's say you wanted to uh, start a study habit, but at the moment you're watching Netflix. If you're stop watching Netflix and you replace it with a study habit, you do that often enough, you switch your attention, you can start to form a new circuitry and wire in that habit. Let's say uh, you're, eating unhealthy foods right now, you're overweight, you want to lose some weight, you need to understand why you're eating unhealthy foods and replace it with something else. And once you start doing the new habits, the new healthy habits, it could be going for a run, um, or it could be doing something else that gives you the same feeling, you start to rewire the brain and rewire the circuitry. So if you look at it from a zoomed out perspective, all of these are effective, okay? So I'm not saying surface level's the least effective and attention switching's the most effective. Generally, Attention switching and root cause, they are a bit deeper, they are going to change, but you can have amazing success on service level. Like I said, if you're meditating, you're very mindful, and you're correcting thinking errors as they come up, you're correcting emotions as they come up, you're keeping a log of things that, thinking errors that are coming up, and you come up with new ones, and you strengthen those new ones with practice by in, implanting them, you can sort of solve a lot of your problems. A lot of your tilt issues, a lot of your uh, motivation issues, your focus issues can be solved just by paying attention to thoughts and emotions. Then you go deeper and reprogram the beliefs. That if, if something's, you're trying to make changes. So what would generally happen is, you're trying to make change on the surface level, but if, if you can't, if you can't, you're struggling. You keep trying and failing, there's something pulling you back. There's something pulling you back and it's resistance from your beliefs, okay? From the root, the root causes. So if you're constantly having troubles to change your actions, through um, yeah, your emotions and behaviors, then you're gonna have to go deeper and go, okay, what beliefs are holding me back? And I've got a yeah, whole program on it, reprogramming those. And then you've got attention switching. So this is where, okay, rather than focusing on all, all, the, all the negatives in my life, so let's say you've got a current version of you, you go, you know what? I'm gonna create a new version of me, a 2.0 version, who acts like this, this, and this, and I'm gonna start acting that way. And all my attention is gonna be what I, what I want. I did a video recently on uh, fear, actions based on fear, and actions based on desire. So this is like, these would be like the, the, the uh, sort of fear-based uh, actions, and you switch those to desire-based actions. And rather than focus on what's broken, what's not working, you start to focus on the positives and new things, and you start to wire those in, and soon, things die out. So the way the brain works is what fires together, uh, wires together. And when you put attention on stuff and you reinforce it, it becomes the new norm. So that's why habits are so powerful. And that's why habits t are hard to break and hard to form. But when they are formed, they work for you because they've been wired in the right direction. So uh, when you're trying to change stuff, it fails you've got all the resistance. So that when you're on the surface level, you've got the most resistance, deal with the root cause, it's hard to get there, but if you can do that, you remove all the surface level problems, and then you've got attention switching, where you literally just go, you know what, 
I'm not even gonna get into problems. I'm just gonna go into what I want and I'm gonna create that as the new norm. And once you do that, that changes everything for you. Now, if any of you guys are interested in making lasting change in your life and pursuing bigger, more meaningful goals, I've got some spaces available at my one-on-one -on -one peak performance where I'll help you to make changes on all three levels, to rewire your thoughts and emotions, to create better beliefs that are in alignment with your goals, and to create a new identity that is gonna help you to get to that next level, which you haven't been able to yet. So if you're interested in that, just click on the link in the description to apply for a free consultation call with me, and I'll be in touch to arrange that. Hope you enjoyed this video. There's going to be plenty more coming from me very soon.